Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use masks within PF Track. So first of all I've got a little uh, five second clip here uh, that we're going to use and then I'm going to add a image manipulation node and on that node I'm going to enable curves just to give it some uh, contrast so you can just do a little adjustment curve something like that and then you want to add a edit camera node and in the edit camera node you just want to specify the focal length that you shot this clip with so I know that this was shot on a uh, 24 one of five Canon lens and I was actually at 24 millimeters so just set that up and then we can go into our auto track and this is where you will add the masks so if we take a look at this clip, we've got all these trees here on the side, uh, these bushes and the trees here that we want to exclude from this track. Because obviously, if I play this back, you'll see some of the branches are actually swinging and moving. Um, and these uh, leaves on the side, uh, they are also moving around. So you don't want to track those. It's just going to mess up your, your track. Okay, so on your auto track node, you're going to go to mask. And then I'm going to use the Bezier Roto. And then I'm just going to create a roto mask around all these trees. Maybe just something like that. You just click and drag, click and drag, and then just connect that again until you get this purple or pink um, mask. And then here by tracking, what you can do is you can just click on the track selected mask forward, and that will go through all the frames and it will actually track your mask according to those points. Okay, so once your mask has uh, finished tracking, we're going to go back into the parameters button here on the side, and this is for the auto track. So if you scrub the timeline, you'll see that the mask area is actually sticking to the footage, and uh, then I'm just going to do a quick uh, auto track here. So for my candidate number, I'm going to change this to 150, and for my target number, I'll change this to 100. And then one more thing to change here is your failure threshold. Currently this is set to 70%, so I'm just going to up that to, let's change it to about 95%. That will just give you a better track. And then I'm going to click on auto track. Okay, so as you can see, it only generated tracking points outside of the mask area, and that's exactly what we want. So the next note that we're going to add is a camera solver, so I'm just going to connect that to the auto track. And then on the camera solver, I'm just going to leave all settings default and then click on solve all. Okay, one more thing to do. We need to set the origin. So just click on one of your tracking points that's actually on the ground plane and then click on set origin. So if we play through this, you'll see that your grid is actually sticking to the floor and that you've got a good track to work with. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see more tutorials, click the subscribe button. Cool, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.